Joe Zekas from Yo Chicago and in the sales office at 565 Quincy in the West Loop with Aaron Mandel. Hi. Let's talk about the West Loop. Let's talk about the West Loop. Get me oriented with a sense of place. What do I have available to me uh, if I'm living at 565 Quincy beyond the fabulous amenities that you have in the, quit in the queue room? I would say, Joe, what do you not have available to you living at 565 West Quincy? I will tell you between the nightlife, the recreation, the ability to um, get yourself to the lake and to Navy Pier in the summer, and likewise get yourself to work, the neighborhood really gives you an opportunity to have the best of everything in terms of location. Dining. What are my options? Lots of dining. Most famously, we have Lou Mitchell's right next door. Um, people may know Lou Mitchell's from their lines, donuts and milk duds, while you're waiting. Um, we have Greek Town. I will tell you that Greek Town has been tremendously popular with our um, the people that live here. People like to go there not only for the Greek food, but there's also plenty of restaurants there that are not. Um, Greek-oriented like Meli. Uh, Meli is a great alternative to um, Lou Mitchell's if you're looking for more of an egg white uh, breakfast or you're looking for a, wheat, or a wheatgrass shop. That's also a pretty great place to go for that as well. We also have Corner Bakery right down the street and Potbelly for... Uh... We do. We have Potbelly and Corner Bakery and Dunkin' Donuts and uh, Jimmy John's, all the places that you would think you'd like to go for a nice lunch break or something um, for an early dinner. Um, but what's been really nice about Jefferson is that you've seen some really nice neighborhood restaurants pop up very close to Quincy. Um, most famously, probably Sepia. Um, you can get a terrific pork chop there. You can get a mm. great drink. Um, they make their homemade flatbreads that are really thin and have toppings like um, sauteed mushrooms and garlic. It's just a great place to go for dinner. Um, if you have people in town, it's a really terrific ambiance. Right next door is Province. Um, Province has been a terrific addition to the neighborhood as well. Um, the chef is also the owner, so he takes great pride in that particular restaurant. And then just a couple um, areas down is the Isabella Trattoria, which has a terrific outdoor space, um, especially in the summer. It's really nice to have a glass of wine and some pasta um, in your neighborhood. And you also have all the restaurants along Randolph Street, too. That's true. Um, everybody knows Randolph, and Randolph will give you a taste of just anything. Um, you have Pan-Asian and Indian and sushi. Um, you also have some great nightlife um, at the Fulton Lounge and at Lumen. Um, people really enjoy that space. And also the art galleries. They've been quite popular, especially now. Um, you have a lot of artists that are really um, putting their uh, pieces to work for the spring season. If you're working in the suburbs or have visitors coming in, you can literally almost fall into Union Station from here. That's true. I like to tell people that I'm from Milwaukee all the time only as a great reference to know that in heels it takes me about four and a half minutes to get to the uh, platform of Union Station, but likewise um, just regular on foot it's about three minutes, which is really terrific. Not far from the blue line on the L? That's correct. We're about five blocks away from Clinton and Lake. Um, you can take the blue line just about anywhere. It's about the most popular line to take in the city. And bus lines all around? Bus lines all around. You can pick up bus lines most um, poignantly at Union Station. And, and my favorite, uh, when the weather gets good, is to uh, ride a commuter boat to work on Michigan Avenue. You can actually take a boat and um, the trolley tours will start soon as well and they pick up all around this area more closely to the river as well and will take you down to Navy Pier, to Streeterville, sometimes even to Lincoln Park and they're totally free of charge. Cool. Uh, how about parks? I know there's one just a short block away opposite the St. Old St. Patrick's Church. Yes. I would say that Quincy is surrounded by greatness in the sense that we have Old St. Pat's, we have a dog park um, with uh, Lou Mitchell's being right here and then Kent Law School, I would say the neighborhood and the structure, the location and the architecture is pretty safe. And you have the gateway office complexes uh, for people who want to walk to work. They can have a, a three-minute walk to work? Yep, that's absolutely yeah. true. It's really nice to be east of the expressway. It's been a really nice push for us. People really enjoy living at Quincy because their commute out of bed after breakfast to the centerfold of their day is really probably about 10 minutes. I, I really think of the river walk along the river as a park too and I see people hanging out there and just reading and sunning and enjoying the people watching. Yep, 
I agree. I think people really just enjoy um, being in this neighborhood and it is surprisingly quiet even in the busiest moments of the day, even at five o'clock on a Friday evening, you can have an opportunity to sit on our roof deck and really hear very little. And I know for, for food shopping, you have the Presidential Towers Market just a block away. You do have the Presidential Markets shopping, and I will tell you that I'm, in all fairness, tell all of my homeowners that Dominic's is definitely the weak place to, or you know, when you're getting your grocery shopping for the entire week, that's a good place to go. If you forget milk, or you run out of sugar, or you want to get something just for a meal, that uh, shop is terrific only in the sense that it's a little bit more expensive than your average restaurant. Um, the market is terrific that just opened on Clinton and then likewise the Whole Foods that's really pretty close to us as well. And when you say market on Clinton you mean the French market? Right? Yes, the that's French market. What, 40, 50, 60 shops in there? And it, the most terrific part of it is the freight stand. Um, there's lines and lines and I hope to one day get a VIP pass so I do not have to wait anymore. So that you could be a frequent frequent flyer, I guess. I would so, I would like to be a frequent flyer. That would be a really um, nice stamp. There's good bakery in there though. It's a terrific bakery. Fresh, fresh salmon, fresh vegetables, really, lots of stuff. Great flowers. It really is a very nice opportunity for uh, people in the neighborhood. What uh, what are some of the downsides of the neighborhood? For, do, are there any? I think that when people come from a location, say by Lakeview or Lincoln Park, where they're used to a lot of parks or a lot of small shops, uh, ultimately it's going to be a bit of an adjustment. But the people who come from those areas really appreciate the fact that the lack of commute from their location really helps to um, alleviate some stress and really helps them to enjoy the day. And I always tell people you can get a plant and put it on your brand new balcony where you're in a quality building built by Belgravia and you can't really ask for much more. And if you have visitors down here, they can find a place to park. That's absolutely true. Area. That is Which an is absolute big stress for you. There's always great parking. If you're visiting Lincoln Park, or is that Impossible. It's not going to happen. Slim to know. <laughs> okay, thank you, Erin. Thank you very much.